Synaptocad's Verilog or Extreme is a high-performance compiled code Verilog 2001 simulator that offers fast simulation of both RTL and gate-level simulations with SDF timing information. We will use Synaptocad's graphical debugger, Bug Hunter Pro, to create, build, simulate, and manage a Verilog design. Bug Hunter Pro uses a project file to store the list of files to be simulated. The new project wizard creates the project file and directory. The Bug Hunter GUI can also control third-party VHDL or Verilog simulators. We will select Synaptocat's Verilog or Extreme as our preferred simulator. Verilog source files are added to the user source files folder in the project window. This tells the tool which files to simulate. Double-clicking on a source file will launch an editor window and display the Verilog code for editing. The built-in editors will color highlight the source code to enable easy detection of syntax errors when typing Verilog keywords. To compile a project, press the yellow Build button on the Simulation button bar. This launches the simulator with the options specified by the current project settings. The status bar on the bottom of the window shows the current state of the build process. Output from the simulator is displayed in the report window in the simulator.log tab. If errors occur, error messages from the simulator will also be displayed in the error tab with hyperlinks to the offending code. Once the project is built, the project window shows the design hierarchy as a tree composed of module instances under the simulated model folder. In this example, there is a single top level called testbed. Testbed contains a 4-bit adder circuit called A1 and code to test A1's operation. A1 is made up of four full adders, FA0 through FA3. You can drill down into the tree to expose the contents of any given subcomponent instance. You can use the project tree window to help you navigate through your design. For example, double clicking on instance FA0's name will open an editor scroll to the location where FA0 is instantiated in the source code. In this case, we see the instance FA0 that is contained inside the A1 component instance. In a similar manner, double clicking on the type column of FA0 will take you to the definition of the full adder module used by all full adder instances. You can see the top level signals and variables by expanding the appropriate node in the project window. By default, Bug Hunter Pro automatically sets watches on all the signals and variables of the top level module when you build a project. This means that the signal names are displayed in the stimulus and results diagram and the waveforms will be displayed here. Additional signals and components can be watched by right-clicking on them and choosing the Watch Menu option. For example, we can watch all the ports of a 4-bit adder. The green buttons on the simulation button bar cause the simulator to run. The Hourglass Run button simulates for a specific period of time. Instead of simulating for a given amount of time, you can also execute individual lines of code. For example, you can single step into, which will step to the next line of code. In a similar manner, you can step with trace to step to the next line and also have the line be displayed in the report window. Finally, you can step over to avoid stepping into function calls while single stepping. As you are stepping through a simulation, a yellow arrow will display in the editor window to show the next line of code to execute. Hovering over a signal name in the editor window during simulation will cause a tooltip to be displayed with its type information and current value. To locate the declaration of a signal in the Verilog code from the diagram window, right-click on the signal name and select the Go to Declaration menu option. If you're single-stepping, in the editor window and would like to locate a signal in the project tree hierarchy, select the signal in the editor window and right-click to expand the project to that signal's definition. 
You can also locate signals using the quick search control. Select the window you wish to search, enter the text to search for, and click either the forward or backward arrow to search through the window. You can search through the project tree, the diagram window, and any text windows. First, let's search for SUM in the project tree. We can press the forward search button again to find the next instance of a signal named SUM. Next, let's search for the same signal name in the source code editor. Finally, let's search for SUM in the diagram waveform window. To run the simulator to the end of the simulation or to the first encounter breakpoint, press the Run button. When the simulation completes, the status bar will show that the simulation has completed. The diagram window will contain waveforms of signals watched during the simulation, and the report window will show the results of the simulation, including the time it took for the simulation to complete. This completes the introductory tutorial for Bug Hunter Pro. For more information about Bug Hunter Pro or other Synaptic Cat EDA tools, visit our website at www.syncat.com.